Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another nerd vlog. Today, I am going to be talking about um, the new Dragon Ball Super movie, Broly, and uh, some of my uh, some of my personal predictions uh, for it that I, th I think are going to happen, and more more hopes, <laughs> I would suppose. Uh, I apologize for uh, the mess of some of my shelves behind me. Uh, I'm, I'm in the process of switching my living rooms around, so this is the first video I've done uh, in my new living room, what I want to talk about is the uh, the Broly movie. So, um, as a Dragon Ball Z, as a Dragon Ball fan in general, um, any Dragon Ball fan uh, should be super super excited for this movie. Because if you're not excited, then I don't think you're understanding it. Because we're getting a lot of content that wasn't canon before. Um, and is now going to be canon. The biggest thing, of course, Brawly uh, being canon. A lot of the Dragon Ball Z movies in general were, were never canon. Like, the cooler movies, Lord Slug, Tree of Might, like, several other ones. I think the only one that was, like, kind of canon was there was a Garlic Jr. movie, if I remember correctly. Um, and then I, I would consider, like, the, the Bardock... Uh, Bardock father of Goku and the, the future Trunks, like, their, their alternate... Uh, the Future Trunks alternate timeline, I would consider that somewhat canon, and then the Bardock movie is kind of canon, um, even though he never makes an appearance in the series because he was killed by Frieza, uh, along with Planet Vegeta. So getting getting in a little bit more of my, my predictions, there is this really... Uh, it's it's now been debunked as, as fan-made. So this image appeared up on Instagram, um, a while ago. It's been making the rounds through a lot of the uh, the Dragon Ball Z uh, groups I follow on Facebook. Uh, from what I could tell, it was at least posted... It was posted by uh, Majin Buu Ultimate on Instagram. Um, and everybody knows that that's one of uh, Gogeta's, or uh, Gogeta's uh, signature moves from uh, the only time we ever see him in a Dragon Ball movie, which is again, is not canon. Uh, is uh, the Fusion Reborn, and it, it's basically like it's been it's already been debunked as as completely fan made. Uh, somebody took a freeze frame and and basically uh, cut it all out, which I'll show you guys that here. This is this is the exact scene that it's it's pretty much taken from here. Uh, as you can tell, the shading on the hand and everything is is pretty much exactly the the same there on that like verbatim. What I think is really cool about this is because whoever made this, whoever made this fan thing, I think that they are correct. And the reason being why I think we are going to get to see uh, a Gogeta in this new movie, and why that's also really super big, is because it's also going to make Gogeta canon. So this would be a super, super big thing. Um, and part of the reason why I think this too is, uh, if you remember in Fusion Reborn, when he's fighting Janimba, um, that attack, uh, where he where he has his hand up and he, he has that, like, multicolored energy ball, um, it basically destroys, like, negative energy, which is what, um, was what was able to defeat Janimba. <laughs> Brawly is kind of the same way. He has a lot of that weird green energy coming off of him, which I, I think that they might make it like some type of this weird negative energy that he's got going on. And I think we're going to see uh, at least uh, a Gogeta blue, uh, which would be super fantastic. Uh, so getting into why I think this, I think there's some clues uh, into what old Dragon Ball Z movies are getting uh, remastered and re-released in theaters currently here in the United States. Um, la last month in September we had Dragon Ball the Legendary Super Saiyan uh, come out, which was uh, the first Brawly movie. Um, one of my favorite Dragon Ball Z movies, except for the fact that Vegeta is a complete wussy in this, because yeah, Vegeta's my favorite character and he just turns into like a whiny little bitch and it makes me disappointed. But the movie overall is cool. In the second trailer we just uh, that just released, I, I think like two weeks ago or something now, um, they we're gonna get to see a retelling of of Bardock's history and Goku's history. But this it's super big because again this movie is considered canon, and now it's it's basically retconning a lot of Goku's like 
Goku, Vegeta, and Brawlies, and Raditz, too, realistically. Um, it's going to retcon a lot of their history. Leading in, though, to why, why I think that we are going to see Gogeta in this new movie. Um, I know I've been rambling a while. I felt like I had to explain my, uh, my fan predictions here a little bit. Um, so again, going back, we got the original Brawly movie released in theaters last month, which is our, our, the new Dragon Ball Super movie is a retelling of that old movie. Next month, in November, um, we are getting more Dragon Ball Z movies. It's a double feature. Two movies. Um, we are getting Bardock, the father of Goku, released in theaters, which, again, the new Dragon Ball Super movie is a retelling and re reimagining basically of, of that story of Bardock and how Goku got sent away and his com confrontation with Bardock's confrontation with Frieza. But we're also getting, along with Bardock, a Janimba movie, a Fusion Reborn. So that is in the Dragon Ball Z universe, the only place Goku and Vegeta use the fusion dance and fuse, uh, and they do that to. To defeat uh, Janimba at the end of the movie, it's, it's kind of disappointing because you only get you only get to see Gogeta for probably three minutes, four minutes in the entire film. But to me, because of of the other ones, it's a retelling of this, a retelling of Brawly, retelling of Bardock. To me, that is a huge clue that because we're getting Fusion Reborn, the only place we see Gogeta or Gogeta, I keep calling him Gogeta for some reason. Um, that's the only place we see Gogeta. So to me, that is a very, very good indication that we are going to see Goku and Vegeta use the fusion dance to defeat Brawly in this new Brawly movie. I think that that's what we're going to see. What I'm, what I'm hoping for, because I'm such a big Vegeta fan, what I'm hoping for is that we get to not only see a Gogeta blue, but we get to see an Ultra Instinct Vegito, or not Vegeta. <laughs> what I'm hoping we get to see is an Ultra Instinct um, Gogeta. And that would be ultimately badass. And what I hope that leads into, because there there was a fan-made um, fan thing where Vegeta goes Ultra Instinct, I'm hoping that they fuse... Gogeta Ultra Instinct, and then that's how Vegeta learns how to use uh, Ultra Instinct, uh, which would be really super badass. Um, there was also some rumors that just recently dropped that we're going to get to see Vegeta go Super Saiyan God in this movie, which, because they just started making, uh, some company started making a line of figures, I forget what it is now off the top of my head, I'll throw it on screen if I can find it during the editing process here, but um, what I'm that seems kind of redundant at this point because we know he's at least from my understanding we already know he's been able to go super saiyan god and that's how he achieved super saiyan blue or super saiyan god super saiyan whatever i like super saiyan blue a lot better um unless he just was able to achieve super saiyan blue i don't know they never they never explained it there's like oh look he's super saiyan blue now so those are my predictions. I think that I'm going to be correct. I think we might see something if they drop another trailer. No matter what, the the Japanese version comes out in December. I'm really hoping that we get to see uh, that we get a subtitled version out uh, before the American release uh, later in January. Please, please let Gogeta be canon. I just I want it to happen. Um, what do you guys think? What do you guys all think? Are you excited? I'm sure if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, you're probably excited, or Dragon Ball fan, you're excited for this movie. Um, tell me what you think about my predictions. I think I'm putting two and two together um, because of what we've seen for the other movies so far. Like, it's it's a weird it's a weird movie for them to pick uh, if they weren't gonna put Gogeta in the new uh, Dragon Ball. Dragon Ball Super Mario Brawly. Brawly movie. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was bearable. I'm going to edit it the best I can. Um, again, thank you for watching. Until next time, guys, please be kind to each other, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Logical high five.